All right, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Kasadig and Lads. Today we'll be talking about combinations. So what is combination? It refers to a selection of objects with no attention given to the order of arrangement. So we're going to talk about MSA, MAS, and AMs are all combinations, but although, or although they are different permutations. So therefore, in this case, we have here MSA, MASS, and AMs is in one combination, in one counting. But in permutation, we have here three counting. So therefore, combinations is without regard to order. But when we talk about combination, it pertains to order. So let's talk about combination. So there are cases to be followed in combination. The first case is combination of n objects taken r at a time. So we have here ncr is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial, okay, times r factorial. So let us have example number one. In how many ways can a reader select three books without regard to order from a set of four books. If we're going to uh, compute this one manually or by counting manually, let us have this one as our four books. We have A, B, C, and D. So let us consider these are our four books. So we are going to select it by three. So let us have first, the first selection is A, B and C. So this one. And the second selection would be A, B, and D. So the next selection we could select as A, C, and D. And the last selection could be B, C, and D. If we're going to have this one, A, B, C, we could not uh, form another A, B, C with the same, uh, this one, with the same letter. So A, B, C is equal to B, C, A. So therefore, this is one counting. So it should be in three letters. There's no repetition of all the letters. So A, B, C, A, B, D, A, C, D, and B, C, D. If we're going to look at, if we exhaust all the possibilities, so therefore, we could have four possible uh, ways that we could select three books without regard to order from a set of four books. By the use of the formula, we have here four combination of three. So what is four combination of three? By the use of their formula, ncr is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. So we have here four factorial over 4 minus 3 factorial or we have here 3 factorial. So therefore, we have here 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over we have here 4 minus, one, 4 minus 3 that is 1 factorial and this is times 3 factorial. So what is 3 factorial? Because 1 factorial is equal to 1. So therefore, we have here 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over what is 3 factorial? We have 3 times 2 and times 1. Cancel this part. We have here 4 uh, ways that we could select 3 books without regard to order. By, by counting manually, okay, so we have here 4 Wait, so therefore, so we could say that combination of n objects taken r at a time could be solved like this. Okay, so that's it for number one. Example number two, from a deck of 52 cards, in how many ways can a hand of 13 cards be selected? So if we're going to use of the calculator, we have here some calculators we come at as 52 Shift, then C, combination of 13, 
If we're going to compute that one using calculator, this is 6.3501355 times 10 to the power of 11. So therefore, 50 cool cards, we are going to select 13 cards. So 52 combination of 13, that is 3.501355, times 10 to the power of 11. So let's proceed now with example number 3. In how many groups of 2 black cards and 4 red cards can be made from 26 black cards and 26 red cards in a deck of cards? So take note, and. So we have to choose from the 26 black cards, we have to choose, to choose 2 black. From 26 cards, we have to choose 4 red cards. So therefore, by the combination, so the word and, so it is an analysis, commentary and analysis. So therefore, we have here 26 combination of 2 times 26 combination of 4. So therefore, because we are going to select 26 combination of 2 and 26 combination of 4. So 26 combination of 2, that is 325 times uh, 26 combination of 4, that is uh, 14,950. If we're going to multiply that one, we have 4,858,750,000. Okay, so these are the ways or the group of two black cards can be made from choosing from 26 black cards and 26 red cards. Uh, choosing two of black cards and two for four for the red cards. So that's it for number three. So let us have example number four. Michael is sent to the store to get five different bottles of regular soda and three bottles of bottles of diet soda. If there are ten different types of regular soda and seven different types of diet soda to choose from, how many different choices does Michael have? So we have here from 10 different types of regular soda. So they have here, we're going to choose 5. And for 7 different types of diet soda, we are going to choose 3. So the word and, that means multiplication. So we are going to multiply 10 combination of 5. 10 choose 5. Then times 7, choose 3. So what is 10 combination of 5? That is 252 times 7, choose 3, that is, or combination 3, that is 35. So therefore, we have here 820 weights. Okay, so these are the ways that Michael could choose in different choices. 8,800 ways. Okay. That's it for question number four. Let's proceed question number five. So in a small village, there are 87 families of which 52 families have at most two children. In rural development program, 20 families are to be chosen for assistance of which at least 80 families must have at most two children. In how many ways can the choice be made? So in 87 families, we have here 52 families have at most two children. So therefore, so in this case, we have here in the small village, we have 87 minus 52. There are 35 left here. So this one, if we choose at least at most two of the children, so since there are 20 families, but at least 18 families must have at most two children. So we have here in the case, so 52, we are going to choose since we could choose as 18 and 2, right? 
So, 52 combination of 18 times by this 35 combination of 2. Plus, since we could choose 18 and 22, we could also choose as 19 and 1. So, still, there is at least 18 families, but at most 2 children. So, we have here... Uh, in choosing, so since at most two children, so we have here 52 combination of 19 times 35 combination of 1. So we could choose also that is at most uh, two children at, uh, with at least 18 families other, so 18 families. So in 18 families other, in 18 families, so, we could have 18 and 2, and 19 and 1, so that is at least. So, and we have here, we could choose as 20, we could have at least, because we are choosing at least 18 families. So, since we need to choose 20 families, and we need to choose at most 2 children, the first children and the second children. So, first and the second children but also we have here to choose 18 families we could choose as 52 combination of 20 so therefore if we're going to use that one using calculator by the use of this calculator so we have here 2.818 eight eight four three four four eight times ten to the power of sixteen okay so again this one in a small village there are 87 families of which 52 families have at most two children in a rural development program 20 families are to be chosen for assistance of which at least 18 families must have at most two children so in 18 families must have at most two children in how many ways that the choice can be made so we have here 52 combination of 18 times 35 combination of 2 plus 15 combination of 19 times 35 combination of 1 plus 52 combination of 20 so therefore we have here the result and the case number two we have your combination of cases so case of series so let us have in combination and in a series series so let us have here an example we have here uh, three student now let us assume that this is three student we are to choose it by uh, in different manner. Or so shall we say, we have to choose it either by one, by two, or by three. Since we have here three students, namely A, B, and C. In how many ways that we could choose this one in groupings or in, in way of choosing? So we could choose this one in in, in individual, we could choose A, B, and C. So we could choose three. Because in series, so we could choose by two. It could be by one or it could be by two. A, B, B, C, and A, C. So there are three ways. Or we could choose them all. So we have A, B, and C. We have here one. Again, combination and series, for example, NC1, NC2, and there is 2 raised to N minus 1. So, there is 2 raised to N minus 1. So, example, if I would have to choose from A, B, C, in how many ways that we could uh, choose uh, to do a certain task. So, therefore, we could have, I could choose 1 by 1. So, A, B, C. Or I could choose by two, A, B, B, C, A, C, or I could choose it all. 
A, B, C. That is equal to 1. So by the use of this one, uh, combination and series, we have 3 combination of 1. I mean 3 combination of 3 plus 3 combination of 1 plus R2. We have 3 combination of 1. So that is 2 raised to n minus 1. So what is 3 combination of 3 that is equal to 1 plus 3 combination of 2 that is equal to 3 plus 3 3 combination of 1 is equal to 3 that is 2 raised to we have here 2 raised to 3 minus 1. 2 raised to 3, 3 that is equal to 7 or 1 plus 3 plus 3 that is equal to 7. So in this case there are 7 ways that we could pick up either by 1, by 2, or by 3. So, example, in how many ways can a teacher assign at most 6 of her students to do a project? So, since the word at most, so therefore, we have here the maximum of 6. So, we have here uh, three, uh, 6 combination of 6 plus 6 combination of 5 plus 6 combination of 4, plus 6 combination of 3, plus 6 combination of 2, plus 6 combination of 1. Or we have here 2 raised to 6 minus 1. So 6 combination of 6 that is equal to 1, plus 6 combination of 5 by use of calculator, we have 6, plus 6 combination of 4 that is equal to 15, plus 6 combination of 3 that's equal to 20 plus 6 combination of 2 that's equal to 15 plus 6 combination of 1 that is equal to 6. So therefore, we have here 2 raised to 6 minus 1. By the use of calculator, we have 63. Okay, there are 63 ways a teacher can assign at most of her, 6 of her students to do a project. So example number two, in how many ways can be formed, committees can be formed from uh, five people if committees consist of one, two, three, four, or five. So by selecting either by one, by two, by three, by four, or five. So we have here five combination of five. This is first choice. Then plus five combination of four. This is the second choice. Five combination of three. Five combination of two and plus 5 combination 1 or 2 raised to 5 minus 1. So that is equal to 5 combination of 1, that is 1. 5 that is equal to 1 plus 5 combination of 4, that is equal to 5 plus 5 combination of 3, that is equal to 10 plus 5 combination of 2, that is equal to 10 plus 5 combination of 1, that is equal to 5. The total of this one is 2 raised to 5 minus 1 is equal to 31. That is combination um, rule number 2. Okay, so combination of n objects taken all the same time. So, I mean to say, when I have 5 students, I will take it all that is equal to always to 1. So, because it, with, it is without regard to order. So, what is 5 combination of 5? So 5 combination of 5 that is equal to 1. When I take 5 of my students to do a project by the 5 of my students to do a project when I take it all, so therefore only 1 combinations will have. In number 2, examples in how many ways can 7 members, if these 7 members form a committee of 7, so therefore 7 we will take 7 members by 7 that is equal to 1 because it is without regard to order. So that's all about combination. So try this at home. So I hope everyone you are solving that one, this one at home as your practice. So we have here 3 problems. And thank you everyone for listening. If you have some corrections or clarifications, just raise it to me. Thank you and... God bless everyone.